What's going on, Akira Hunters? Welcome back to my channel. So if you've been following my real estate journey since 2022, when I started this YouTube channel, you know I used to wave the no flag pretty vigorously when it came to Japanese real estate. But guess what? I was wrong and I changed my mind. For the past six years, my real estate portfolio thrived on 19 doors scattered across the United States. And fast forward today, I'm pulling 180 degree turn, diving headfirst into the captivating world of Japanese property. Yep, you heard that right. I just snagged a single family Akia house in the heart of Yokohama and I'm turning that into a rental property. So in this video I'm gonna share the top five reasons why I'm now buying properties in Japan specifically single-family houses and trust me if you're even remotely considering diving into the Japanese property market this video is for you. But hold up I'm not revealing all the details of my house just yet. You're gonna have to hit the subscribe button to stay in the loop and catch the updates as I transform this Yokohama beauty. With that being said let's get started. So in 2022 when I started I started telling you about my journey to real estate investing, I never thought about buying any Japan. Nope. Not at all. I used to say things like, I'm Japanese and I live in Japan, but I don't invest in Japan. But guess what? Something has changed. It's like when you hear a really cool story and it makes you think about things in a new way. And that's what happened to me when I met and interviewed Colin. At first, I thought buying properties in Japan was still not for me, but as I started getting to know Colin and other investors who have been investing in Japan for a long time, my mind changed. I mean, why not take advantage of the fact that I'm Japanese, speak the language, live in Japan and understand real estate investing. The more I thought about it, the more it made sense. Plus, it's getting harder to find good deals in the markets that I invest in in the US. I've been looking, but haven't been able to find anything I want to invest in. So it was becoming more clear to look into Japanese market. But what were the reasons that got me to believe in buying houses in Japan? Before we get to that, I have a gift for you. If you want to learn how to buy an affordable Akia in Japan as a foreigner, I put together a free guide that will help you own your dream house or get started with real estate investing in Japan. Click the link below in the description. Now back to the show. My five reasons for investing in Akia houses. Reason number one, major opportunities. In Japan right now, there are many Akia aka empty houses. The Akia rate in Japan was 13.6% in 2018, which means one out of every 10 houses is empty. And the number of empty houses keeps increasing every year. And when we say empty houses, it doesn't mean they're all like ruins or anything. Did you know that more than 70% of these empty houses are actually usable empty houses? Even though these houses are in good conditions and can be useful, they are left empty which is really a waste. So for real estate investors who deal with detached houses, it seems like finding a mountain of treasure. Reason number two, supply and demand. To tackle the serious problem of Japan's Akia, single family houses are the solution. Let me explain. In Japan, the population is decreasing due to having fewer kids and more elderly people. But rental properties like apartments keep increasing. Why are they building more rental properties when the population is going down? One reason is the inheritance tax. The inheritance tax system in Japan favors building apartments or condos on land rather than just owning the land. So even if it's not very profitable to make money from apartments or condos, some people think, well, if I can reduce the inheritance tax, then I'll build apartment properties. As a result, in 2018, the vacancy rate for rental properties was as high as 18.5%. Even though more apartment properties will be built in the future, the number of people to live in them is decreasing due to the declining population. So this leads to intense competition, lower rents, and real estate rental businesses struggling to make a profit. In such a situation, it's not easy for everyday investors to manage apartment properties. In the case of renting out single family homes, there's not enough supply compared to the demand. So even in tough times for the real estate rental industry, renting out houses remains very feasible. So the last stronghold of rental properties is single family homes. If the demand for single family homes disappears completely, that means there is no more demand for rentals in general. For beginner investors thinking of buying single family properties in Japan, a common worry is whether there will be actual tenants. What needs to be considered here is the relationship between demand and supply. Even if you buy a cheap property, it won't make sense if you can find tenants. As you can see on real estate portal sites like At Home or Sumo, there are many apartment properties even in rural areas. On the other hand, single family properties are scarce. For example, if you try searching for rental properties in Minami Ward of Yokohama on Kanagawa Prefecture on at home, 
you'll find 4,158 available properties. But if you add the conditions for single family homes and narrow down the search, the number decreases to 112. That's only about 2.7% of the total. And within these 112 properties, terrace houses are also included. So the actual number of standalone single family homes is even less than 112. So this example helps you understand that in the world of renting on single family homes, the idea is demand is greater than supply. And that's how advantageous single family homes are when it comes to finding tenants. And of course, even if a single family home is easy to attract tenants, it goes without saying that in areas with absolutely no demand for rentals, it would still be challenging to find tenants. And naturally, thorough research is essential even for single family homes. Reason number three, low risk. In the area where I invest in real estate, I can actually buy Akia for around five to eight million yen or 35,000 to $56,000. Depending on the person, some might even be able to buy properties outright in cash, and even if they choose to get a loan, it would be in the range of a few million yen. So you don't need to take on debt in the tens of hundreds of million yen like you would for condos and apartments. Just imagine it. Can you control the risks of having debt in the tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars? Real estate investment comes with risks like vacancy, delayed rent payments, interest rate, fluctuations, and course natural disasters. If you venture into a property that doesn't suit your abilities, you might end up having sleepless nights with a constant headache. If you have extensive investment experience or ample personal funds to control risks, that's a different story. But for those starting real estate investment, I wouldn't recommend taking on large debt right away. I mean, that's my opinion. What about condos and apartments in cities? One bedroom condos are a popular investment option in Japan, especially in the cities. You can find properties with a gross yield of around 15%. And if they're reasonably priced and close to stations in Tokyo, it seems like finding tenants won't be too difficult. However, the issue often comes from the management fees and repair reserved funds. For instance, let's say the property price is 4.5 million yen with a monthly rent of 60,000 yen. At this point, the surface yield is 16%, but if there are 20,000 yen in management fees and repair reserve funds, or you know, you might call it HOA fees in the US, the actual income is only 40,000 yen per month and the yield drops to just over 10%. But still, there is one absolute advantage for one room distinctive condos in Tokyo. They're easy to sell. With a low price and many potential buyers in Tokyo, they have excellent liquidity. Now, what about distinctive ownership in rural areas? There are indeed plenty of cheap properties, but like properties in Tokyo, generating cash flow can be challenging. And also, finding tenants can be a struggle, and even if you try to sell, it might not go as smoothly as you'd hope. So why do I insist on single-family house rentals in Japan? Let's take a slightly different perspective here and view renting out single-family homes from the landlord's point of view. So first, let's talk about management. Managing single-family rental properties is easier compared to apartments. As mentioned earlier, single-family homes have a lower hurdle for finding tenants, even when compared to apartments due to the smaller number of properties. Some may worry about whether tenants will pay their rent on time or have concerns about payment delays. In the real estate rental industry in Japan, there is a system called a rent guarantee company that takes care of these issues. Rent guarantee companies not only handle rent delay prevention, but also take care of legal actions and enforcement costs for evictions. Property management is usually handled by a real estate management company, ensuring that day-to-day -day issues are handled smoothly. The management fees is typically about five to 7% of the rent. And single family homes tend to have longer occupancy periods. And unless it's a major issue, tenants may handle property maintenance themselves. In reality, landlords can have a relatively easy time with single family homes. Reason number four, single family houses require less management. Dealing with tenant complaints or rental payment delays is an unavoidable challenge for landlords and a constant source of worry. If multiple tenants simultaneously report issues like something is broken, something isn't working well, or that tenant is too loud, beginner investors might find themselves overwhelmed right from the start. I've managed rental properties including six unit apartment and single family homes in the US. Managing single family homes is much easier and less time consuming. And that's why I've decided to focus on purchasing single family properties in Japan. 
Single family properties are independent buildings. Unlike shared residences such as apartments or condos, the troubles with noisy neighbors are significantly reduced. In shared residences, common spaces like the front yard are the landlord's responsibility. If weeds grow, the landlord has to take care of trimming them. But in single family properties, tenants handle such tasks themselves. Single family rental tenants are often families and they tend to stay longer than singles. In Japan, the average occupancy period is reported to be about four years for singles. And about six years for families. Frequent turnovers lead to the need for regular renovations and finding new tenants, which can be challenging and costly. In my own experience, there are fewer problematic tenants in single family rentals. Single family properties can set higher rents compared to apartment properties, acting as kind of a filter to exclude troublesome tenants. And reason number five single family houses are easier to sell. Real estate investment concludes with selling a property, making it the exit strategy for the investment. When it comes to selling a single entity, like an apartment or condo, it typically appeals only to real estate investors. Since the prices often exceed tens of millions of yen, the number of potential buyers naturally narrows down. On the other hand, what about single family properties? For the properties in the price range of a few million yen, there are naturally more potential buyers. And if the property has tenants, it can be sold to other investors. In case where there are no tenants, aka vacancy, it can be sold not only to real estate investors but also to people looking to purchase a home for personal use, known as actual men. And these are the five reasons why I'm buying single family houses in Japan. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to watch this video next for more. See you in the next one.